Hey there everyone, this is Rao Cal playing VLDC 9. Last time we've completed the ice world. So then we're gonna start a new one, the desert world. These are pyramids. So there we go. We're in the desert way. There's also what? So there's like this resort part over here that looks pretty complicated. But then it also goes all the way up here. What's up here then? I wanna go on the tramway. I wanna go on the tram ride. I can't press any buttons, so I need to wait for the tram to actually get there. That's hilarious! <laughs> and so much work! Wow! Oh, I guess technically this is another world, but that doesn't matter. I'm here now! Took the tram express and I got big island zone. This place is actually super huge. And I'm not sure how best to hand- I guess I'm gonna go down and go around like that and then return to tram. I guess that's an idea. Oh yeah! 24th place by Frost! I think it was two exits but I forget. I didn't really look in the top corner all that much and your boy liked the opportunity, liked it a lot. Coops are liked it even the best, so really it's Nimono here. That's been the exception of the rule. Well let's go in a hotel! Hold it all it up in a hotel. Ah, uh, Charlie has a face at the hotel, and a bird has a string! <laughs> oh, no ha- <laughs> So, happened 50 years ago, there was a fire that destroyed the bottom of the hotel. No one bothered to fix it, ever. <laughs> oh, those are solid, got it. Shouldn't just hop on a duders. Oh, what? Okay. That's a puffer fish. <laughs> I... The top look jumpable, like when I see a pair of crows flying around like that, you know, my first instinct is jump on it, but no, my instincts have led me to direness. That is some amazing sprite replacement, though. <laughs> Man, yeah, there is a lot of work. Oh, how do you- okay, because that's how you get up here without getting hurt. Isn't that great? So why does this exist? So you can go on a lamp and wonder why this exists. That bird just went down! It was, hello, I'm a bird! And then it flapped its wings and everyone was scared. Naturally. There's a lot of birds in this hotel. It's the bird-like hotel. It's just called bird. No, it's just called hotel. The opposite of my delusions. <laughs> Is there anything there? Can I use some help, Bullet Bill? To go higher than I can. I guess I can do a little bit of something like this. No, there doesn't. Well, maybe I can, like, do a little bit of something like this and screw it up. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm too. Dang it! I hate the universe and it hates me. It's that kind of coin-jointed reality. That's... Wow, that's not even how I was sure I was gonna get hurt, either. I can't wait for the... Dang it, I'm trying to go on top of those, because I'm now pretty sure there's gonna be something. Yeah, for a level just called Hotel, with such a pleasant atmosphere and music. Sure is easy to die here. There we go. Well, the camera doesn't go up, so... That's, that's what you get. Everyone is a gnu if they try hard enough. But that's the thing. If you don't try, you'll never be one. And I'm wondering if you can go above the wall. And go on the ceiling. Dang it, why am I being so not careful? Like, a lot of my deaths here, I think, are really just me not being careful enough. I should probably change that, you know? It would help me out a lot, I'm sure. If I did something like that. But that's the question. Will I do something like that? Yeah, there's not really any other way around this. This is how you get I don't think there's a way to reliably get yo-yo up there. I'm s Whoa, whoa, whoa! I- Man. Alright, well, I- I hunkered on through, and then I'm just... Wow! <laughs> this is just... 
This should not be happening! I guess you want me to jump so that, uh... This is... <laughs> this is pretty amazing! Uh, okay, so let's just take our time, and there's a 1-up in here, and 1-ups are fine! But they're not the end of the world at all. In fact, they are quite early to start. Thank you, bird. Help me out here. So here I gotta dodge the platforms while I try to go down this rope. Or I can just kinda let myself fall away. Wasn't there a midpoint that burned away? I'm getting mixed up in your sordid plot. You can go beyond or you can say hooray, I don't know what I'm doing, I am full of regrets. Look at all them birds going down this chimney shaft. At least we all got the same speed, so it's not too scary. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta go it no. Well, I could keep going up, but that just made a rope appear. Why do you feel about ropes? So yeah, that means that I could have gone out that other place before, which I didn't. No, I don't know. Okay, there's a little niche there. Like it was supposed to be a door or something. Dang it. Maybe there is going to be a door at some point. Can I go in your crate, Mr. Boardy Bird? It doesn't look like it. Do I want to go, like, around town there? There's so many rooms for surprises and delights. The delightful surprise of Samantha Rose. That sounds like a boat, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, boats have that kind of name, right? Oh, what? Oh, I see. This is actually really well composed. Oh, this is neat! This is neat! I like this. Yo! Alright, where am I, and where are you, and who are you, and where is you, and, you know, what's your problem with, ooh, democracy, and the fictional country of lethargy? It's not a real place, so it doesn't matter. Dang it, that could have gone real bad, but it didn't. Now I am just sad, and poor Charlie, he's stuck. I got him back alive in my truck, uh, my truck, which I call the afterlife. <laughs> okay, so there I'm just kind of like permanently getting stuck, but yeah, I could just do that and... <laughs> it's still unbelievable when you just kind of like get in slow zone. Okay, wait, no! Oh, why did it throw me like that, though? Just stay. Stay, stay, stay. The art of stay. Just no! Why do you die, though? That, that one last drop, though, is kind of tricky. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Just go away. Porky Poofer, that is pretending to be two birds. Go away. <laughs> That's just amazing. It's even dragging me. Dang it. It's, it's when you change from running everywhere to not. Like, it it destroys your, your worldview. Something fierce. Do you have to run up there? Cause now I'm gonna get... Yeah! See? That. Like, I'm running up the inside of the wall because of the effect... Okay, that's what... No! Because of the effect of the lift. So, I need to... Like, that doesn't seem on purpose, but... <sighs> As far as I can tell, yeah, I need to, like, accost the triangle before the platform gets there, so I need to do something like this. Okay, well, as I talked about it, and I talked about it, and I kept and kept cut off flock about it, then I just go down here like this and get shot in the head for my trouble. Great, that's fantastic. Hey, friend. I don't know where I am. Don't know what I'll do. That little fish is not a fish for you. Man, this kind of goes, huh? And now... Why, why didn't you? Why didn't you? I... Like... Run up a triangle. No, boy. Camera! Please. Camera? Man. It's kind of skipped ahead there. So, like, I think I do want to do that. Just, because, yeah, you need to, because here you need to. 
transitioning. She's just transitioning, but, you know, with an eight. Oh. Alright, and here, if I mess it up, I end up in the drink. Like, look! I was running, but Mario went, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like that is my fault. And... Uh, I'm confused. Uh, I think you choose one very particular part. Dude, like, dude, I'm like a lot of this level is just waiting around for things to line up and stuff. So, like, that kind of makes the fact that I keep dying in a way where I feel no control feel so much worse. I wonder if other people had that experience than me in that little section there, because if they haven't, it would explain the high score, and if they have, it would explain the, the mono score. Ah, uh, yeah. The score... Sure, yeah, okay. Ah, dude, I... <sighs> I'm just gonna fall off the wall here somewhere and die that way. Or, uh... Yeah, so this is meant to be made from, like, the first jump. That's fair, but, like, I figured that was gonna happen, so now what do I do? From... There we go. Whoa, that thing falls. No, why, why was it solid? No, the lamp is solid. I have one of my... Woof! Okay, like I know it's not hard, but you kind of have to get to this part, you know? What's in here? Ooh, wow, really pulling all the stops for making my favorite level. <laughs> Dang it, there's the porky bird, double bird, double double bird, quintuple hexabird! All the birds in the universe coming to say hello! Hey there, Charlie, I don't care much for your bird service patrol. Uh, where am I at now? I am going out into the world. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> but that doesn't change how I was feeling while I was struggling against a thing. Yes, the solution is simple. But you gotta work your way there. 
I wonder if something mysterious happened that unlocked the way to the bottom part, time zone part. Yeah, it's still closed. Floor midpoint was destroyed along with it. Oh wait, what? Now I can go through it for some reason. All right, <laughs> going into the past. We're time traveling, my friends. So it's not really a secret exit. Well, it's like it's like it's like a post game exit, or maybe you could have gone through it the entire time, and I didn't because I was big or something. I honestly forget. This is dark and spooky. Woo! Okay, just be careful. I saw that ghost face flashing there on the side. See, it's right there. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, well, don't let the ghost... Ooh, that, that's getting kind of close, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. All right, how was this done? It doesn't matter. I'm going in this door. Yo, light! Okay. All right, no music. Here it forces me to run, which I'm not a fan of, because, yeah, with the spotlight... You don't really see in front of you. There's another door. Is there a pout? There's a lamp. I think, yeah, it's glowing, but it doesn't the light of the lamp is defective. <laughs> I think there's a disco ball. Is it saying nice? Yeah, it is saying nice. That's not nice at all. These are all things that want to destroy me. Like those spooky hands. Okay, they do hurt you. Uh, like, it's like, you gotta hurry up, because otherwise a hand gets you, and when a hand gets you, that means you need to go back through that dark spooky bit for like half an hour. Yeah, uh, you can't rush these because it's careful rope jumps. And already I'm like, Feel now that I'm just kind of rushing more. The way the ghost appears is a lot less effective. Yeah, so I grab my skull and now I try my best not to die. Not because ah, oh, vush, yay! Not because no, I'm spooked out by the game or anything, but because I really don't want to restart that segment. Of course, I'm dealing with a boo ceiling, so which well actually the bat ceiling, so you know anything can happen really. Man, like here, like. I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? Great, well at least it was a skull there. Gosh darn fart zone, like... No. Watch out for the bloody hands, and here you gotta do a possibly weird jump, and here you just kinda do what you can. Oh, fart. Uh... Yeah, like, well, now what do I do? Nice. That's where I want to go. Will there ever be a pattern where it's safe for me to jump, though? Because these things kill you when you become immobile. I can, like, drag it here and then after... Then he didn't... Then he did! Okay. Alright. The nice zone has top zone. Then we can go through the ozone. Hey there, Munger, how's it go, Bone? I'm just gonna run out of down this yard. It's so purple and full of lard. Oh, that. It's in the door. That's pretty funny. That was a callback. I remember it. This level is amazing. On the condition that you never die. <laughs>
<laughs> that about sums it up.